earthquakes and ensuing disasters have caused her walk throughout the world so many times. Japan has been the worst affected country, accounting for 18% of big earthquakes worldwide. According to various estimates, Japan lost approximately 1 trillion yen yearly in the Meiji Kyoto disaster in the past decade. These losses are often overshadowed by the resulting socio-economic losses, which are much more severe and long-lasting. As an example, thousands of people still remain displaced due to the Great East Japan earthquake of 2011. Therefore, it is imperative to consider socio-economic impacts while formulating disaster recovery plans. However, these impacts are indirect and not well understood. We would like to know which infrastructure damages are the most critical, which industries will suffer losses, and by how much and until when. How the disaster will impact people of different age groups, income groups, and occupations? I am trying to answer all these questions through my research. As you know, economic activities are heavily dependent on infrastructure components like buildings, power plants, electricity network, water and sewage network, and road networks. Therefore, it is necessary to simulate economy and infrastructure together. Hence, I am developing a unified model of economy and infrastructure. In the first step, I develop a one-to-one -one scale model of economy. For this, I use an innovative modeling approach called agent-based modeling. In my agent-based model, the agents represent real-world firms, banks, government agencies, and persons. In other words, I generate a one-to-one -one scale digital twin of economy. If you are in Japan, you are also an agent in my model. In order to simulate millions of entities and save simulation time, I use supercomputing technologies. Using a supercomputer like Fugaku, I can simulate one economic cycle of all 130 million economic entities of Japan just within a minute. As a comparison, a desktop computer will take 12 hours for the same task. In the second step, I integrate the economic model with an earthquake simulator which can simulate large-scale earthquake ground motion and its impact on buildings and other infrastructure components. This integration enables me to capture the impact of damages on the behavior of economic entities. Once fully developed, my unified model will be an invaluable asset for the disaster mitigating agencies. It will enable us to quickly estimate economic impacts of a disaster. We will be able to compare recovery plans for their short and long term economic performance and choose an optimal plan for faster and complete recovery of economy and infrastructure. Thank you.